Hi, welcome to Calicone Pine. Today we're going to be making dried cranberries and orange salt. First, you're going to need 24 ounces of cranberries. Pick out the ones that are mushy and cut the rest in half. Oh, and of course, wash them. <laughs> Gotta wash your produce. But we're going to uh, toss those in one and a half cups of sugar. And I need to get a measuring cup that actually is... The one cup measure title is actually visible, but uh, with every kind of cooking, make a little mess like I did. Uh, can't be cooking without a little mess. But I did one and a half cups of sugar, and you would ideally add the salt here, but I forgot to. Uh, but you toss that in the sugar and salt. The salt will bring out a bit of the moisture and uh, also will kind of like sweeten it more uh it just makes things taste sweeter also salt is a great electrolyte but you just mix that in uh i suggest not doing it by hand like i did here and getting a spoon like later me did uh and my salt jar was stuck <laughs> but mix this all up with a spoon <laughs> Until, it, uh, until the salt and sugar is dissolved. The idea is that uh, the salt and sugar will make these not so tart. They did end up still being very tart in the end, but a little more manageable. They're almost like a sour candy, which is great. But we want to weigh this down with something like a bowl, like I'm using here. Uh, I'm using a salad bowl that I got at Kirkland's and push down any cranberries that come up the side uh, back to being under the water because we want them to actually get sweet. And the suggestion, uh, maybe add less water than I did so it's a little more syrupy and it might coat the cranberries a little better and make them sweeter than what I did. I will be trying a different method and I'll let y'all know if it goes better by uh, making a video of it. But load up some dehydrated trays with them and I ended up only needing to do this for 15 hours at 145 uh, Fahrenheit. But I did have to pick through uh, every few hours because uh, some of them are, were really small and I didn't want them to get like a chip kind of crispy. But here's one part of it. Uh, about half of them were finished at this point. And then I did it another two times. And then the final time uh, was after the full 15 hours. And after that, all of them had been finished. They're definitely still very tart, and as I said, kind of like a sour candy, but like a healthier sour candy. They're, they're just really good. I definitely recommend trying this if you like sour candy. And there's my dad. <laughs> Say hi. Anyways, uh, this is how they looked. They were really good. Uh, some of them were definitely a little dry, so I maybe only do it for 14 hours. Though there were some that were still kind of mushy, if that makes sense. Like, very pliable. They weren't wet or anything, which would be a problem. But uh, here's uh, the recipe. Pause to read. And next up, we're making orange salt. So first, I used a dehydrator tray for making uh, fruit leather. And I got these oranges from my great-grandparents. They grow orange trees, and they had a lot this year. So I just zested five of those, and it took a while. <laughs> so I guess watch a YouTube video while you do this. These oranges were honestly the best. They were so sweet. I ended up eating the insides after this and I accidentally bit part of the pulp, uh, the pith, 
and it was completely fine. No bitterness to it at all. Uh, but yeah, we have to zest five of these oranges, and this recipe ended up making two half pints of orange salt. Probably could have made a bit more if I added more salt, because there was quite a high ratio of zest to salt in the jars that I made. But I think it'll uh, be fine just as is. But as you can see, I got all of that done, and then we're going to be adding salt to it. Uh, I suggest adding only, like, part of the salt to it this time. Maybe, like, one-third of the salt. Uh, it's just enough to make sure that the uh, zest doesn't become all one big glob of just, like, toughness. Just to make sure it breaks apart easier when we go to put it in a jar and add more salt, of course. But just get it like that until it's almost like a crumbly sand texture, kind of like a wet sand. Um, and then I pushed it down with my hands to get it flatter so that it'll dehydrate better. Uh, and I did this at, I think, 125 for, I don't know well, how long, because uh, someone turned it off while I was asleep, which was kind of a bummer, but here's what I did it for. Uh, it, did, it obviously didn't go for the 24 hours, because I put that in at night, but here's the orange salt. It was really fun. Uh, and here's the recipe. Pause to read, and thank you for watching. Bye!